So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new optical sensor, which is pretty cool. Uh, it can measure both colors and light and darkness. So in this first program, I'm going to show you how to use it to read colors. So I'm going to plug that in and I'm going to go to port two right here. So you can see that I'm plugged in and snapped into port two and making sure I hear that click. And then I'm going to come back, shrink down here, and I'm going to come up to my menu and you'll see that optical sensor. I'm going to select port two because that's where I put mine. And again, it reads optic port two. Now, just to show you what the sensors can do is if I come back into my devices menu here, I go to my optic sensor. We can see the RGB values of the different colors that I place in front of it, that the sensor will read that as we go. The other thing that you probably can't see very well is it also tells you if an object is near or distant. It will also tell you the brightness of the light or the uh, UV or the light that's hitting that sensor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make write a simple program. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is come under sensing right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is find my optical sensor and I'm going to sense it to on mode. There is also the color mode you can see here, or you can switch to gesture mode. I haven't found the gesture mode to work very well, so we're gonna stick in the default color mode. I'm gonna to come to my control structure here. I'm gonna write, a, do a forever loop. I'm gonna grab an if statement, and what I'm gonna do is set up my first if statement. I'm going to say, if my optical sensor detects green is what I'm gonna set my default up to. I'm going to set my motor velocity to 100%. After doing that, I'm going to spin my motor forward. Now, a neat thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to use that uh, touch LED screen on this one. So I'm going to have my cursor always to return to column one, uh, row one on that uh, brain. I'm going to also set it to my fill color here so you can see the background of this. So it gives you a nice visual clue that I've seen that color as well. And I'm going to print the word green on this. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to print the word green on my cortex. Once I have this all set up, you'll see how it works and how pretty cool it is. So I'm going to duplicate this program. Instead of green, I'm going to say yellow. I'm also going to say instead of 100%, 50%, I'm going to change the print color here to yellow. I'm also going to do the fill color to yellow. And again, I'm going to duplicate this section of code. I'm going to come back up here. And this time, I'm going to change the value to red. I'm going to change the print color to red. I'm going to change the statement to red itself. And instead of set motor velocity and spinning it to 50%, common sense, I'm going to have my motor as being stopped here. And again, for if you haven't seen my previous videos, I'm running this same simple gear setup uh, that I've shown on my previous videos as well on how to set up everything seen here. So I'm going to come up here to download my program. I'm going to run that program and you're going to see it doesn't detect any color. I'm going to put green in front of it first. We can see it says in green. It's also spinning at 100%. For some reason, the color sensor automatically defaults yellow based on the lighting in the room. But now we can see it go to the yellow marker as well. Uh, if I turn that red marker on, we can see it change to the red print there and everything stops. Now I can come to that yellow and you can still see that it's used yellow or it goes green. Now, to use my menus here, I'm going to come back here, click on my devices, go to my optic sensor, and you can see how we're reading those colors on those markers. So it's a good way for the students to come back and check what they're actually seeing in terms of colors and trying to dial in those color values. We can also use the optical 